Two former Texas A&M students are hoping to spark change. This after they claim the university mishandled their sex abuse cases. And as KVU's Jenny Lee reports, the women are part of a group that tonight continues to grow. On a pleasant Saturday morning. And such a serious subject. Comes an unpleasant discussion. I don't think any victim should have to walk on campus with the person that assaulted them ever again. Austinites and former Texas A&M students Abby Hillis and Megan Romier share their stories to help other sex assault victims and hopefully force their alma mater into action. They should do the right thing from the beginning. They should stand with victims. They should take care of them. Both women accused Texas A&M of failing them when they needed their university the most. I was a tutor for the athletic department and I was working with one of the football players who I'd worked with him all semester and then in October, October 24th of 2016, um, in a tutoring session, he exposed himself to me and began masturbating in front of me. Ramir reported the incident to police and the university. The next morning, Ramir says she learned the same football player exposed himself to another tutor. Ramir says a school disciplinary hearing eventually found that student responsible for committing indecent exposure and removed him from the football team for two days. He had committed the act and that he had exposed himself to me and to the other tutor. Um, however, because he was experiencing a bad case of jock itch, that his actions, he could not be held responsible for his actions, and he was let off. We were appalled. We were like, are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. It wasn't until she spoke anonymously to the media that more permanent action was taken. She is an anonymous no more. I had to go to the media and drag Texas A&M's name through the mud for a little bit before they actually did anything, which I mean, come on, that's, that shouldn't be necessary. Abby Hillis's case is a little older. In 2010, she says she was sexually assaulted at an off-campus party. They did find me naked. They found me with leggings ripped next to the side of me. She reported it to police and A&M officials. She is still waiting for justice. I want people to know that it's a consistent problem. It's, it's a systemic problem within the administration of Texas A&M. That's why they've started a closed Facebook group called hashtag me Too TAMU. There's also a petition that has more than 1,375 signatures demanding change in Aggieland. Change like tougher punishment for those responsible for sexual assaults. These accidental advocates. We're not going to back down. Now hoping their voices will give strength for others to come forward. Jenny Lee, KVU News. And Texas A&M's president released a response yesterday. We have that on our website in full, kvu.com.